Shop CC 2015.5 new release video tutorial by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the I'm not going to actually show you the Android version of Capture, but I'm just going to mention Android Capture. Now I've got Android, I've got my phone here with Android, and there's an Adobe Capture tool, and what it does is got a range of things like shapes, patterns, colours brushes and looks. Basically when you go into it, you get a little plus sign and you can add a shape, you can add, you can capture a pattern. So you can go around like your house or environment or outside and scan a whole range of things. And so I'm gonna quickly say patterns, and select pattern. And what you do, you've got a whole range of options, different styles of pattern. Now, once you've actually created that pattern, you can save it, saves it to your library. And I'm just going to go over here. My phone keeps buzzing at me at this point, so it's telling me lots of very unuseful information. Now, just go over here, libraries. And I've got a little library that I've created, Capture One, which is all the stuff from here, from the Android phone that gets passed over. Now, it doesn't work super quick. Sometimes you actually have to go back into Photoshop to bring it all back up again. Notice it doesn't update. The things. What you can do, like say shapes, and I'm just going to notice it's SVG, so just drag that over. It takes a few seconds. There's the SVG, it's a vector design. Now, best probably to work in Illustrator, but you can of course use SVG, and it's a, it's a nice shape. It's not a shape in terms of a standard shape, but, uh, but you can still, it's a vector design which you can drag up and just create, obviously, a whole variety of vector designs. It works quite nicely, it actually captures it quite well. Quite smooth capture in most cases. Now, there's also look, and that's quite a nice one. It's got a look, but I'll show you first by going to the library and pattern. These are patterns I've created. There's a whole variety of patterns as well. It's quite neat that it actually creates different types of patterns. Sometimes patterns are create a pretty basic square-like pattern, but this creates like nice sort of hex sort of designs and a whole range. Now just click on it in the library and you'll see it comes up with this pattern there. Always seems to default to 25%. Maybe there's a reason. Don't know. But I'm certain there is a reason. But there's the actual thing. Yeah, not somewhere I created that one. It was around the house somewhere. Just basically or maybe just looking outside and uh, capturing the design. And you can obviously just move around. It's just a standard layer. Now, what you can do, you can just click over there again. And what happens is... That's another one very quick. And that game could be something else that I've actually created. And of course you can do the usual blend them. So you can actually make a whole range of different patterns from these patterns. They're all seamless as well, which is really great. You just sort of drag that around. I'm going to remove that one. You can drag that around. And I think it actually does quite a decent job of the patterns. Like I say, you can just basically click on there and bring up another one. And again, also, and the key thing here is that you can save them because create a new preset from this pattern. Very useful. Just click there and then just go down and you can see you've saved it to that because well, it means it's there. And you can, of course, then save it to a PAT file at a later point. And again, you can modify this pattern, apply effects, just flatten it and then say filter and stylize oil paint. Now, there's also brushes. I haven't got a brush here to demonstrate, so I'm not going to demonstrate brushes, but you can also do brushes. And there's looks, which is really quite nice feature. So just basically click there and add a look. Now, in this case, it doesn't particularly add very much. The look is a very bluish look anyway. It's only one look. You can see there, you can see the little designs are yellow and blue so it doesn't really add much to that one so I'll just get rid of that one there and maybe just could change that color so it's not so uh, and maybe very garishly now click the look and you can see it does add the look and you can obviously modify it slightly and again of course you've got the usual blending modes it's just a standard layer so you can go there darken and difference and so on and so on just the standard things. but it's a great way of adding a look very quick and easy as well as obviously the ones 
just there. Now, that's it. The capture thing, it's a great little tool. It's in Android and also you can get it for Apple. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a Microsoft Windows capture version as well? That would be good. And also if it would work on tablets. I haven't tried it on tablets. It would be nice if it would work on tablets, but uh, I suspect it doesn't. I don't know why, but uh, it always seems to just work on phones. I've always found that anyway. Maybe it's changed. But great little utility, and it's great for going around the, uh, I say, around places and just taking quick shots of things and creating a pattern from it. And then obviously you can save it to create a whole vast library of patterns for your, uh, for your work and your projects. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.